How you doing? Oh yeah! She just said, oh no, oh yeah! I'm having my all-famous homemade beefaroni. Yeah, right. It's more like Chef Boyardee. Mmm, tasty. Yes, I am having that before I get to work today. Today is day three of doing patchwork and painting. I'm not going to really be painting today. I'm actually going to be doing um, patchwork today with the uh, Elmer's uh, wood sealant. So that should be fun. Actually, it's wood filling, but same thing. Same thing, different name. And, uh, yeah. It's actually really hard to work with, like, any kind of wood filling or caulking. Anything like that, because it's really hard to, you know, squeeze it out of the tube. You know? But you gotta do it. Mm-hmm. Woke up with a lot of back pain today. I took two days off from doing uh, patchwork and painting because... My body's just been in pain, and I'm trying to recuperate so that I can keep going and keep doing it. Yay! Now I know why when people do that kind of work, they'll do it for like two hours at a time, cut out, have lunch, go at it for like another two hours, and then cut out all together. I didn't do that, and now I know why. Because my body was in extreme pain! But anyway... I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to finish my Chef Boyardee, and I'm going to show you what I got done so far before I get started again. Yeah, baby. See ya. Well, hello. I am back. Yeah, I ended up uh, starting to feel a little bit lazy after I ate, so I thought I would have a little bit more coffee, try to wake up a bit. Not easy. But here we are. Yay. Um... We were in the same room that I was working on yesterday. Well, actually, where I started yesterday. That does not look right, people. <sighs> what is up with that? Wow, these blinds suck. No wonder why we got new ones. Anyway, like I said, all that stuff is done. And this is done, obviously. The only thing that's not done about it is if you look up here, that needs wood filler. But I have yet to get to this room. I'm still working on the one room. Let me just remove these really quick. Uh, yeah, I kept a can, two cans of paint on that to spread out the uh, tarp. This way, nothing gets messed up. And the paint job that I did on the door doesn't get messed up. So, let's check it out. Ah. So far, so tasty. Looking good, looking good. And you see any cracks or anything like that have been covered and patched by the paint, so that's always nice. Uh, let's just swing this baby that way. Take a look at it. So far, not bad, guys. Let's see, where did we have cracks? Well, we had some certain areas, like right here, that were kind of cracked looking and I had to patch that with paint. Got obvious spots like this, but I'm not gonna really bother it. It's no big deal. The only thing that I'm concerned about is the molding and not the doors. Um, and I mean the molding like, you know, around the door frames, around the windows, that sort of thing. So let me take you into the room that I was in, that I was uh, doing some patchwork in. Um, actually, right here on this door, you see that right there? That's where we had a little hole, probably from, um, what do you call it, a nail that was pulled out. So I just went ahead and filled that up. You see how this door has like a couple cracks here, even though uh, it was painted? I don't know if I'm going to try to paint over that and waste more paint, or if I'm just going to try to patch that up with wood filler, because it's not looking too hot. Um, like right here, for example, you see how, you know, this has a little bit of paint that had gone inside and the rest of it, you know, looks hollow. That's not a very good look. And that's the, one of the biggest reasons why I'm doing some patchwork. Um, so yeah, right here, this is exactly where I had uh, put the wood filler. And, you know, so far not bad. It looks okay. On the top it looks alright, I guess. Let me just back up and try to zoom in so you can see it. <clears throat> And I had to basically fill up the top and the sides and also some areas, let me zoom back out, some areas right here like uh, up here that, that had to be filled in. 
this had to be filled in, you know, the whole thing. Uh, that had to be filled in, you know. Oh yeah, all the way at the bottom, like that had holes in it and it looked really awful, so I had to fill that in. Here's where the ladder is, because this is where I left off. See how I had done some work on the side. Actually, I could step on the ladder here, so that's a good opportunity. Let me just put my keys down, sorry. <sighs> okay, I'll take you guys up the ladder with me. This thing is so wobbly, it's ridiculous, but okay. Now, shoot. Now on the first window that I was working on, you see how, you know, the top corner part of the molding is coming out? Well, you can't really tell, well, you won't be able to tell as soon as I paint this section over because I put the wood filler in that area. This is the second window that I'm working on. You see how, you know, I, I patched these things up? It's because there were a couple holes. Got some holes over there that I'm gonna have to patch up. Sorry for shaking, it's just I get nervous on this stupid ladder. <laughs> I had to uh, patch up a big crack in this area. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that that's just lovely. And like, all this right here, you see how you got that big hole? Like that big gaping thing? And you only got, you know, some paint in it. It just, it looks terrible, you know what I mean? It's very uneven, it looks awful. It gives the illusion that the uh, molding and the framework is falling apart and we don't want to give that illusion to our renters, our tenants. Uh, we want to be able to give them the illusion that it's new, it's put together, or at least, you know, patched up very well, uh, that it's stable and nothing's going to happen. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm working on. Um, this window that I'm still on, I'm looking at this area right over here. See that hole? Like all that down there, I'm gonna have to patch up. It's on the side. I mean, get down off this. Uh, it's one thing to have, you know, this gaping hole here, but it's another when you're looking on the inside because these holes really should not be here. I mean, if it got to the point where, you know, the paint goes inside of the hole, um, or the crevice and it doesn't necessarily compromise the design of the molding um, you should go with that you should put you know some kind of wood filler or whatever in there and just paint over it this way you know this way it looks the same basically you know what I mean um, what I mean is here let me show you like right here it used to have like a big gaping hole and um, you know, I, I figure I would put some of the uh, wood filler in here. This way it doesn't really compromise the design of the molding, but it actually looks like it's filled in. It looks new, it doesn't look like it's falling apart. And that's exactly the illusion that I'm trying to build here with my work. Um, and I think if anything, the wood filler would make it a lot more stable. So that's what I'm going to be working on this entire evening is um, patchwork. That's basically what it is, you know, placing wood filler in and making sure that it looks good. Um, really quick, I don't know if I can show you how I do it. Because I, I want to show you how I do it, but I don't know how I'm going to set up the camera. It would be kind of cool if somebody held the camera for me, but nobody's up here working with me. <laughs> That's okay, though. It is what it is. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just looking everywhere at what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Creepy hallway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yeah, I mean, even areas like this, like up here, you see how that looks? That needs wood filler because you got that cracked look. And you don't want a cracked look, you want something that looks sturdy and that'll be able to hold up try to find other areas like here right here on the side of this molding you see how that's coming out that needs some patchwork done um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna have to put wood filler in that uh, without compromising the design or the uh, paint job but yeah that's uh, pretty much what I'm doing and the reason why I'm working more with the wood filler and doing patchwork versus um, nailing things together is because I don't know exactly like for example, this right here, what I just showed you, I don't know what's behind that and what I'm gonna be nailing into. Um, 
if I'm going to be nailing into any studs or if I'm going to be nailing into like nothing, <laughs> an insulation, you know what I mean? Like how sturdy is it going to be if I actually uh, do that, if I try to nail it in. So instead of try to, trying to nail it in, um, because I don't know what's behind it, it's a mystery to me, I'm just going to patch it up and paint over it. So. That's the work I'm going to be doing tonight, like I said. Sorry for being repetitive. I am a little tired. I'm not quite awake yet, but I'm working on it. Oh, yeah. I got to go turn the radio on and get to work. This is day. Hey, guys. What's rocking? I am back. And, um, you know, it looks like I didn't get a lot done because uh, the technique that I used to, you know, fill up some gaps or whatever with wood filler is uh, very precise and exact and takes a lot of patience. It also takes a lot of time. It's been three hours. I got the rest of this window done. You see that I got this one done. So we got the left window that's already done since yesterday or rather two days ago. I got this done all along that side, all along the inside if need be, on top. Got the top, most stuff, and back up. Okay, got the top right there. That's done. I only needed to do like a little over a half of it. The rest of it looks fabulous. I had to fill up some holes and whatever else on the top there, sides, and also the outer side, which is right here. Let me just zoom out so that I can show you the entire thing there. I patched up the inside of the left and also all along the entire left side of the third window. So I also uh, patched a couple of holes on the right. The right really isn't damaged too badly. So basically I just have to cover the top of the third window and all along the side. You can tell the difference because you see where you know the paint kind of falls into the molding and whatever. Well, even if you can't see it and you're just looking at this part, compare this part to this part right here. You can see the difference. Um, the difference there is pretty apparent. So basically, it's been three hours. I got that done. Um, having a cigarette. Having me a smoke, smoke break. And look at my hands. I got all this blue shit on it. And honestly, all the blue shit that's on my hands comes from the uh, packaging of the wood filler. You see how like some of the blue is off of it? Well, it actually went from the package onto my hands. So, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> so I try not to put my hands on the molding if I can help it, being that I painted it already. And um, I'd rather paint over the uh, wood filling when that's finished than have to paint the entire thing in waste paint. So, yeah. I'm working on the third window right now on a cigarette break. Yay. Playing the radio, of course. It's keeping me company. At one point I got bored as hell because the work sometimes can get very monotonous, but I got coffee, so I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be back with updates.